In this video, I'll show you how to go to SQL backend of relativity and change a field of a choice type. Why would you want to do such a thing? Well, sometimes fields are part of a locked application or they're locked in certain ways. And there might be a situation when you want to go to the backend and change a value of a field. Now, if you don't have permission to actually change fields, I suggest you don't mess with it and do it the proper way. However, there may be situations where you really have to do it. The reason why I need to do it in my situation is I have this imaging profile that if I click on edit and change it, I'm not able to save it again. I just click on save and the error message I get is you cannot rename default profile. Now, this is a bug that's been introduced in 9.5. Uh, in 9.4, this worked perfectly fine. I was able to modify my default profiles. However, since 9.5, uh, this bug was introduced. And in 9.6, it still hasn't been resolved. And what I don't want to have is I don't want to have multiple profiles because I'm afraid other team members may accidentally use wrong profile uh, for imaging documents. What I want to change in my imaging profile is one specific value. So let's see how we can do it using SQL Server. In our example, we're going to be modifying an imaging profile called native color. And the value that I want to change is this clear indentations. Uh, right now it's set to no. What I want to do is set it to yes. Now if I try to change it uh, using edit button, I'm going to get same error message. I'm not able to change it for default profile. Let's go to uh, SQL Server and try to uh, modify this. I'm going to jump to SQL Management Studio. And I know that the database artifact ID is 101.5820. So that's what we're working with. I'm going to open my table and I am going to navigate to my fields table because what I want to do is look up an artifact name number of my field. So let's go find the. So let's go to fields and I'm just going to use UI as much as possible so you see what's going on. And I'm going to add where display name equals clear and then clear indentations. Press F5 to run it. And now we know this is our field clear indentations. Um, and it has a code type ID. Code type ID is a separate table where choice values are stored. It is very, very confusing, uh, but let's see if I can make it a little bit more clear for you in this video. So code type ID is 91. So we're going to scroll down to a table that says Z code artifact ID 91. So this is the one. I'm going to right click and select from this. And we see that this is where uh, choices are stored for uh, for, for this field. So we have our associate artifact IDs. So let's see what they are. I'm going to select them and copy them. And I'm going to query my artifact table. So I know what these associate artifacts are. So let's go to artifact. And I'll say where artifact ID in and in parentheses, I'm going to list artifact IDs I'm interested in and I'm going to use commas to separate them. All right. And now we know that uh, our native color is artifact ID 926. So let's go back to this table. And so we know we have to change this entry here for 926. All right. Well, this is our code. So right now our no is set to 825. Well, what is the yes value? So we can also look it up through artifact or we can use a front end. So if we go to workspace admin choices and then this UI will not give us an artifact IDs for our choices. So we need to go see all choices and we get to our choice list we're going to go to object type and this is imaging profile. So we're going to click on that apply and we see our clear indentation yes and no we're interested in is no. Well, we also need our artifact IDs, right? So let's turn that on. Let's go to artifact ID, save. And we have to redo our filter. 
imaging profile, click OK. All right, so our no is, this is what it was coded for, with, 7825, and 7824 is our yes value. So I'm going to copy that, and go back to our SQL management. I'm going to find my uh, Z code table, which is going to be 91, and I'm going to right click and edit. All right, when you click on edit, you have to be super careful not to do anything you don't mean to. All right, we know our 26 is a color profile, so we're going to click here, paste our new choice, and now in order for it to save, we just need to exit from this row. So I'm going to, so you see this pencil, means it's in the edit state, so we're going to click off of it, and now it's been saved. So let's go to front end. We'll go back to our imaging profiles and click our native color. And in our email options, we'll see that clear indentations has been changed from no to yes. And yes, I know it seems like a very complicated procedure. And if you're not comfortable with using SQL, don't even think about doing it. But if you have some knowledge of tinkering around in the back end, uh, this may help you get going with modifying these values yourself. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out my website, hashtag legal.com, which has lots of valuable tools I create for relativity as well as law. Feel free to share this video with your coworkers if you feel they can benefit from information provided. Subscribe to stay up to date with videos as they're being released. Click bell to be notified as soon as videos come out and don't be afraid to suggest ideas for other videos in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.